everyone. I am back with Aries reading for the month of January. Happy 2024, Aries, and happy birthday to the sign of Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. I have to say that. Okay. <laughs> okay, Aries, let's see what is your energy for the month of January. What's going on with the sign of Aries for the month of January? We're going to shuffle these cards five times. One. Two. Three, four, and five. What's happening for Aries for the month of January? Let's see what's happening for the sign of Aries for the month of January. Ooh, we got... The Two of Cups. Oh boy, are you working on a friendship, commitment, a relationship of some kind? We got the Knight of Wands upright, moving fast, fast movement, passionately moving fast into a certain direction. We got the Page of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign, just working on bringing stability, working on yourself also, working on trying to bring some form of of peace okay because the page of pentacles is always a peace offering peace my darling so are you trying to find peace or are you trying to build inner peace within uh, because of a relationship maybe you're trying to move forward in bringing in peace into a situation here <sighs> oh, yeah there's an opportunity to bring peace into a relationship or commitment a friendship you want to move forward with this person. It could be that you're working on your own relationship and bringing some stability and peace there. What else is going on here for the sign of Aries this month? Did you start a problem that you need to work out now, Aries? Just saying. <laughs> what else is going I don't know. What else is going on? Yes, having the strength. Knowing that you have the power to turn things or to make things right, Aries. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to rectify a situation, make things right. Um, what else is going on for the sign of Aries this month? Yep, yeah, one's just slipped out. Yeah, being passionate. You know, moving in a more passionate way. Doing things the right way. You know, being focused on what's going to make things right for me. What's going to bring me the most passion. How I'm going to move things forward in the in the right way, in a new direction, you know, and possibly bringing peace to a situation, okay? That's what I'm getting. What else is going on here for the sign of Aries this month? What else is going on for the sign of Aries? Yeah, six of cups, balance. Here we go again. Stability. Could be with a commitment. Could be with a relationship. Could be someone that you are attracted to someone that you you have love for you really want to balance things out there's an angel here trying to tell you are you going to bring peace to it what are you going to do with this okay what else is going on could be a personal relationship it could be a family relationship it doesn't always have to be a partnership okay but that is the focus here right now okay what else is going on for the sign of aries yeah, yeah, moving things forward. You want a happy home, happy family. You want to move things forward. You want things to work themselves out. We got the Ten of Cups, really bringing stability there, really bringing happiness to home and family, really planning for your future and moving forward in a different way where there is more peace, okay? You want peace. You want stability. You want a peace offer or you want to give a peace offer here. What else is happening for the sign of Aries this month? Yeah, you're going to have that conversation. There is going to be a conversation. There is going to be you talking to this person and saying, hey, you know what? I want to stabilize this. There's something I, I, I want to give to this. And I want to bring stability here. This is what you're saying. This is what you're saying to that other person. Um, and if it's with school, if it's, I get, I'm getting something here with school. You need to rebalance yourself with school. If this is an Aries listening to me that you're going to school, you really need to really put your focus there because you've been out and about having fun and focus on relationships and commitment, but you haven't been focused on your career. You need to be back to that, okay? Uh, this was one message for one particular Aries. I don't know who you are, 
but you're watching my channel and I'm telling you right now, you need to focus more on your career and bringing stability within yourself and really building that strength to move passionately in the direction you want to go when it comes to your career, when it comes to your education, when it comes to your college, if you're working on college, okay? Um, for other areas, I see you guys really focus on mending something in the family, mending a situation here, um, and maybe bringing some stability and, and bringing more balance with your actions. Because before you were kind of erratic and you weren't listening to people. But now you're going to start listening and, and seeing how you can meet halfway. Okay. What else is going on here with Aries? What else is going on here for the sign of Aries this month? Yeah, there's some he, there's some form of truce. Truce. How do you say it? Truce. You know, like trying to bring something at peace here. What else is going on? Yeah, yeah, and balancing things. You know, you, you want to balance the, the wave of your emotions. You want to balance your own emotions. Sometimes you have that in inability of balancing yourself. You you you're very erratic. You take erratic moves and you do erratic things. You know, and so that's where you want to bring stability to. You're balancing yourself in order to bring some kind of truth or peace offering. Okay, what else is going on for Aries? What else is going on for the sign of Aries? Don't be stuck in your head about this. Don't be stuck in your head about situations, Aries. Don't overthink things. Know that once you decide and you make those steps forward, things are going to work out, right? Don't feel like you're trapped to anything or any situation. Don't even feel like you're trapped to your own your emotions. You're not. You are capable of bringing things into balance. You are capable of, you know, bringing forgiveness to a situation, okay? Um, so that's wonderful. You got renewal. There will be some renewal and things working themselves out in regards to home and family and situations like that. We got the empress here. You could be dealing with someone, a mother figure, or maybe someone that you see, maybe a job also, because emperor and empress don't have to be persons. They could be just, uh, institutions we're dealing with, right? Or they could be with us wanting inner growth and stability within our own lives. Or you could be dealing with someone who is a mother figure or someone who is, you know, someone you see as an empress who is complete, who is fulfilled, someone who is balanced, you know, and you want to bring peace and renewal there, okay? That could be a situation here too. What else is going on with Aries this month? What else is going on with Aries this month? Yeah, you're strategizing. Yeah, we got the Seven of Cups, many things happening around you, many options or maybe even issues happening around you but you're going to strategize and you're going to see yourself out of this you're going to work things out you're really planning in your head how to move forward how to bring peace to every situation how to be more stable when moving forward and doing things for others okay and i see you balancing out your energies and actually bringing some peace into this there's a rainbow here there will be peace here all right there will be some kind of balance and peace and making up of some kind areas what else is going on? Yeah, you got the Page of Cups. That's working on your own inner stability, really working on yourself. Page of Cups could be a love offer coming your way too. Page of Cups could be you giving a love offer or maybe you bringing stability to your relationship with love, okay? What else is happening here for the sign? It, it doesn't have to be just a commitment. It could be a family relationship or friendship. What else is going on here for the sign of Aries this month? Okay, this one wanted to come out. Oh, yeah, working on your own inner stability. Again, working on your college degree if you're working on it, working on your finances and your money and working to bring stability and forgiveness in a situation. Yeah, loving on yourself, being accepting of who you are and where you're at and loving yourself is first, right? Because if you can't love yourself, you can't love anyone else. What else is going on here for the sign of Aries for the month of January? And we're going to end it with one more card because I see you bringing peace to a situation and working on it and, and trying to bring balance. And I see you putting in the work, not them, you, all right? What else is going on with Aries for this month? Yeah, working together to find a common ground. Eight of Pentacles. Building, working, stabilizing. That is your energy for this month, Aries. Have a wonderful month. A truth is happening. A peace of some kind. Offering stability in a relationship, commitment, maybe a family with a family member. And working on your inner self. And knowing that sometimes your moods are erratic. You gotta, you gotta really control them. And if you're an Aries going to college, you're focused. You need to refocus yourself. You haven't. You've, you haven't given your college the attention you're supposed to 
and you haven't given your career that attention and it's time it's time now to bring balance in those areas also and to be more focused on your growth and at the same time bringing peace to situations that you have caused a ripple in okay aries so that is your message for this month this could be a great month thanks for listening bye bye